another master plan. Ain't nothing but sweat inside my hands, so while I dig into my pocket, all my money is spent. I gotta stop now. Hey everyone, Stuart here. Um, this is day two of my depression vlog, and this is probably the biggest day for me because the my problem always used to be that I would do something and then I just wouldn't do it again because I'm afraid that I would screw it up or people wouldn't be as interested the second time around or just something like that, like those mental blocks, basically a fear of failure. And that's kind of what I wanted to discuss today is me trying to get over that. Already at least two, three different people reached out to me with their stories, like people I just don't know expressing their beliefs about uh, depression or anxiety disorders, just stuff like that. I'm in a parking lot right now, so you're going to see a white car. There you go. But yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, your comments are certainly appreciated. Um, I definitely uh, want to hear your experiences with uh, depression or mental disorders. So please, by all means, hit me up in the comments below uh, telling me your story. And hey, if it's something that you wind up laughing about now, you know, definitely share that. We could all use a laugh, right? That being said, I can't say that this is totally a laughing kind of story because it is something that has affected me quite a bit. It is a fear of failure and my fear of putting myself out there for basically out of fear for being rejected. That sucks. Looking at it from a completely divorced point of view, it's not really logical. Like, how could I assume that I'm going to be rejected? What causes that? It's probably low self-esteem, honestly. I never really carried myself, uh, never really thought all that highly of, of myself. Which I found good because, like, who likes someone who brags about themselves? Oh, God, he's pulling out. <laughs> it must look like a maniac doing this right now. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure it comes from a place of just not being sure of myself, not being uh, all that confident. I don't know if that goes hand-in-hand hand with mental illness. I do find, I don't think that the two, are that one is necessarily caused by the other, but I do find a very high correlation between those two things. At least in my experiences. I could be totally wrong. But I did feel like it was worth noting because it is a big mental block for me is putting something out there, especially putting something out there a second time. And so I needed to find ways to get over that, to get over the fear of failure. In fact, putting up the first episode was actually a huge deal because I knew that that vlog was imperfect. I knew that things happened in it that I would rather take again. In fact, this is a reshoot of a video that I shot earlier, but I just was kind of babbling incoherently because I was running on like 24 hours, 26 hours without sleep. Yeah, I actually woke up at like 7 p.m. today after going to sleep at 1 p.m. Yeah. I think that's gonna have to be covered in a whole video altogether because my sleep pattern is fuck. But remember how I said that Newton's first law states that an object at rest will stay at rest until a force puts it into motion? Well, sometimes I have to be that force for myself. I need to push myself and get myself in motion and get over that fear of failure and getting over that fear of looking like an idiot and like a crazy person when people in silver Toyotas drive by. Was that a Toyota? I don't even know. Regardless, it is something that I need to push past. It is something that I need to get over and it's worth it because I know at the end of the day, something good could come from this and that the good could most definitely outweigh the bad. The good is that people keep sharing stories and sharing thoughts about their mental illness and keep taking things from my stories that perhaps apply to their life. That's the good. The bad is someone calls me an idiot or an asshole on Facebook. Or the comments, either one. Hey, wanna call me an idiot or an asshole? Leave a comment below. The second part of getting over fear of failure is posting this video and I feel like I should do that right now. So, yay, if you see this video, Progress. Woo. Huh. I need to work on my expressions of joy, you know? So that's basically it. I'm going to stop talking behind this building to essentially myself. Um, hopefully you took something from this. If you did, please leave a comment below. Um, subscribe for some more. And I will see you back here tomorrow. For a nine to five, if I strive, then maybe I'll stay alive. So I'll walk up the street whistling this, feeling out of place, cause man do I miss. A pen and a paper, a stereo, a tape of me and Eric being a nice big plate of fish, which is my favorite dish. But without my money, it's still 